Hey everybody, Trouble here back with a tutorial for Dark Souls 2. This one is going to be for the Pursuer. He's found in the Forge of the Lost Giants. He's the second and last boss of this area. He's really, really easy to beat if you can parry him. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go get the Buckler. The Buckler can be found down here. Now the trickiest thing with the Pursuer and parrying him is the timing. If you're used to Dark Souls 1 timing, it's slightly different. So I'm going to do my best here to point out when you actually want to hit the parry button. So the parry timing is different depending on what you're using to parry with. You can absolutely parry with bare hands. You can parry with daggers. You can parry or parrying dagger. You can parry with shields. It's the most common thing to parry with. The buckler in particular, though, has the largest amount of frames that are available to parry with. So this is the tool that's the most forgiving, and it's used for parrying. So we're going to use a buckler because it is far easier to parry him with this than with anything else in the game. At least anything else in the game that's available to us at this moment in time. Now if you don't have the ability to, or if you're not able to parry, if you just can't get this down, and it might take a couple tries to do it. If you can't get it down, you know, the other way to do this is just to dodge his attacks and then shoot. And you just, you can't get greedy. You have to, you know, you'll get one, maybe two hits in if you're lucky per his attack pattern, but he does this three, this three attack, you know, swipe, 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 and then he waits for a second and while he kind of gathers his energy back up, and then he'll start attacking you again. So the best way to do it is just to dodge and get those attacks in and know that it's going to take a while to get his health down. So you want to try to run in front of the Ballista, so what we're going to try to do is parry him, which will stun him for about five seconds. We're going to try to time it so he's getting in front of a Ballista, and then while he's stunned, we're going to shoot him with the Ballista. And that's going to take away a good 99% of his health if you hit him directly on. If you kind of hit the side of him, it'll only take away half of his health, or maybe a quarter. Uh, in that case, you're going to have to do it again, or you can choose to just fight him head-on. But the Ballistas make a huge difference in making this fight easier. Really, the hardest part of this fight is making sure that he's in front of the Ballista long enough to actually hit him with it. So you have to kind of figure out how to get him... So you only have a couple seconds to get over there and hit him, so you want to make sure that you're close enough to you can actually run to the Ballista in time and um, don't accidentally hit A and get stuck at the Ballista like I did. So after you parry him, the rest of the fight is cake. You just have to hit him a couple times, uh, maybe even just once. And uh, we got that. Praise the sunset. Now let's go and take a look at that timing, the parrying timing in slow motion. And I'm going to try to point out when you need to actually hit the button. So first of all, the easiest by far attack for him to parry is the one where he's gliding at you. And those who know Dark Souls 1 timing, you know that you would hit the parry button right before they start to bring down their arm. Well, in this one, you want to do it a little bit before that. So watching in slow-mo, you can see what I mean. So right now, and he still goes back, you know, he's putting his sword back a little bit still. It's almost when he first stops moving forward, when his body stops, that's almost when you want to hit the button. Now I'm going to do a little back and forth at half speed so you can kind of see where that sweet spot is. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like or a subscribe, and there's many more Dark Souls 2 videos to come. Trouble out.